Have you watched the news lately? No one is safe. <laughs> I was a bit over, a bit over the top, sorry about that. Hello everyone and welcome. How is your mental health today? If you answer not so good, you're in a safe space. There are loads of times in our lives when we just don't feel well. And given how the world is such a mess right now, that's totally understandable. Even without COVID-19's extra stress, people tend to neglect their mental well-being way more than their physical health. One of the biggest barriers is actually within us, the fear of other people's judgment. What will my family and friends say if I tell them that I'm depressed? How will my coworkers react if I break down in front of them? The S word is everywhere. No, not that S word, stigma. Have you watched the news lately? No one is safe. I'm Chris, and as you can see, I'm not a mental health expert. But with the help of these experts, we're going to talk about mental health and the stigma around it, openly. Stigma comes in so many different shapes and forms. What are some examples from your experience? Let me give uh, an example of a family who they were quite religious and they have this loved one who is having hallucinations. That this person is seeing things others are not seeing. They are hearing voices others are not hearing. They are like, how will people look at us? People will look at us like we are not real Christians. We are, we are not really praying. And uh, somebody had to come in and create awareness that this, is, this has nothing to do with the demonic attack. This has nothing to do with curses. But this is a illness that needs medical interventions and psychological interventions. So some of the challenges that people face in current times is actually the stigma of seeking help. We're trying to encourage people to look into self-care, to be more open about seeking help and to support each other during these difficult times. Even sometimes, the specific things that worsen the stress, anxiety and depression can carry some stigma. The only thing that good happened during the pandemic that people got more aware of how important mental health is. In Croatia, we had a little bit specific situation because we had two earthquakes in the past um, one and a half years, which even more affected people and the need for psychosocial support became even bigger than it was before. And because of the pandemic, people were more aware how um, how much they need some kind of support. They need to talk to someone. The, the main thing was that you don't go hug people around, you don't do things that you would normally do when a disaster happens. For example, for the elderly, there's still a lot of stigma about seeking help because many of them believe in being strong and resilient and seeking help is actually not something that they usually do. What Singapore Red Cross tries to do is to train befrienders with psychological first aid and through that we get our befrienders to support the elderly beneficiaries by having informal chats and having informal psychosocial support. But you know, suffering does not always leave a physical mark. One expert recalled someone saying, I wish I was bleeding. That way people could understand how much I'm suffering. We don't have as much of an issue talking about our physical health. While stigma is so powerful when it comes to mental health. So what do we do about it? Stigma thrives in lack of knowledge, where there is that uh, less or lack of mental health literacy. Then stigma comes in because people are not one; they are not aware, two; they misunderstand, they misinterpret, their perceptions are wrong, and that creates uh, stigma. One way of uh, dealing with stigma and the resistance from uh, some of the people in seeking mental health care is through creating awareness, information giving, because knowledge is power. The key thing is that they're not alone. There is someone who is ready to listen to you. There is someone who wants to listen to you and who can help you with any kind of problems that you might have and who can give you advice what to do next, what are the next steps. I may not know you or your struggles, but we all go through tough times. And if you see someone that is not coping, don't be afraid to tell them, I'm here for you. It's okay not to be okay. And do seek help from someone you trust or a mental health professional. I hope you can all take something positive from our talk. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe, like, and share. It really helps the channel. What other mental health issues would you like to talk about? 
let us know in the comments below.